What's good, y'all? This is Sean, 007196. Well, even on Christmas Eve, we can never find a way to win this game. Yes, that's right. We lost again. It was close. We only lost by two points. Yes, the Washington Commanders, Redskins, got their asses kicked by the Jets, 30 to 28. I mean, I mean, no surprise there when Je when Washington gave up, gave up 17 unanswered points in the first fucking quarter. And and in no and in no and in typical Washington fashion, Sam Howell was bets again for J Jacoby Brisket, who was 10 of 13 with 100 yards and one TD, while Trevor Simeon. Who took over uh, Zach? Took over Zach Wilson. Had was 27 of 49 for 217 yards, one touchdown, one TD. In the rushing department, Rodriguez Jr. had 10 carries for 58 yards and two TDs, while B. Hall had 20 carries, 95 yards and two TDs. In the receiving yard, in the receiving department, McLaurin had three receptions for 50 yards and no touchdowns, while B. Hall had 12 receptions for 96 yards and no touchdowns. And if we take a look at the team stats, well, no, so, and, and we got smoked by the Jets. They beat us in total yards, passing yards, rushing yards, even yards per play. Yards per play, baby. Yeah, this one was the most dumbest thing. This one is the most dumbest thing imaginable. And I feel like this team, it's just, just. I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say on this team right now. I mean, it's actually pretty bad, but let's be, but let's be real. Right now, for what I'm seeing right now, I see a lot of Washington fans are telling the are telling um Rob Rivera to stop benching uh Sam Howell. Not because oh they might give him up. No, they say stop benching Sam Howell for Jacoby Brissett because they are these idiots are hoping to have a nice pick in the draft, a nice uh top five pick in the draft, which. Let's be fucking real. They're gonna probably you gonna waste that fucking pick for another fucking quarterback when he another fucking quarterback. Why? Because this is the team that doesn't know. Because this is a fan base that treats quarterbacks like it's toilet paper. No loyalty whatsoever. None. Zilt. Nada. And if. And if they do this, it's my, it's my so just like you might just write off 2024, 2025 season because y'all gonna keep on doing the same thing and gonna be still be the lappy stock of the league. This is another reason why many people, many uh, Washington fans are leaving this franchise. Why? Because of the same bullshit. Not from the man, not from the front office department, but these delusional fucking fan base who. Tr who thinks they know what's best for the franchise, but they don't. They never do. I mean, they don't care about, you know, trying to build for the future. They, all they care about is win now, and that's it. It's stupid. I mean, it really is. But you can't tell these people anything. They all, they're going to try to make it act like, oh, well, everything's all good. Oh, everything's going to be sunshine and rainbows. Well, just you see. Yes, this quarterback didn't do too hot. We'll make, but that's okay. We'll drop another quarterback, quarterback, and he'll probably do well. And then and then when that quarterback don't do well, they'll do that same fucking song and dance again. This is even worse than the whole we need another quarterback thing. Yeah, which, which is becoming a goddamn fucking meme, mind you. But it is what it is. I'm not too fucking surprised on this one. I really not. On 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 the unrelated top. Now on the other topics in the world of sports. Well, the Detroit Lions. Gotta give a shout out to them. Congratulations, Detroit Lions. You finally won. So finally won yourselves the NFC Championship, the NFC North title for the first time since 1993. Pretty proud for you guys. Really do. Really do. Now y'all. Now you're no longer a walking punchline. That be us in Carolina, and for some reason Atlanta won. But it's like, how the fuck that happened? 
And then Dallas lost. What, Dallas lost um, today. So today, and thanks to that loss, and thanks to that loss um, for the Dolphins, they have managed to cleanse a playoff berth. So now they're in the playoffs. Now, whether or not they will try to do something without shitting the bed like they did last season, it's up in the air. It's really up in the air on that one. But stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. But anywho, I just want to put this out here. But that's all for now. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to the channel, kick the notification bell so don't miss our update. Share your friends, share your neighbors, share your brothers, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean Double Seven Ninety Eight Six signing off. Thank you for watching this video. Really means a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye bye, and Merry Christmas. Y'all couldn't even beat the fucking Jets. San Francisco, San Francisco's gonna have a fucking field day with us next year. I mean, next week. Fuck this team.